Hey guys, welcome back to Shiba Inu Crypto. Vitalik Buterin gives huge opportunity to Shiba Inu Coin. SHIB News Today Shiba Inu Coin, the world's second largest meme cryptocurrency price, hasn't seen much price action over the past 30 days. SHIB price is on a constant decline due to the recent market collapse. However, a recent update has landed in the interest of the Shiba Inu Coin, which can pump its price ahead. In this video, we will talk about Vitalik Buterin gives huge opportunity to Shiba Inu coin. SHIB News Today Don't forget to smash the thumbs up, share, and subscribe to the channel to see our latest content on Shiba Inu price predictions and expert analysis. Without further ado, let's begin the video. According to the Shiba archives, Binance plans to boost its holding by adding more Shiba Inu coins. The world's largest crypto exchange will attach $76 million worth of SHIB. CoinGate reported Binance.us made a bid to take over Voyager Digital Assets. The press release mentioned the deal worth around $1.022 billion. However, this huge announcement came amid growing criticism over its reserves. Voyager stated that Binance.us offered the highest and the best bid on its assets. This deal also carries an additional consideration of up to $20 million worth of incremental value. Nansen reported that in the bid to acquire Voyager Assert, Binance would add $76 million worth of Shiba Inu with other assets. It will also be adding $255 million of Ethereum ETH and $62 million of VBX tokens. CoinGape reported that the Shiba Inu coin burn rate skyrocketed by 600% over the past 24 hours. Per the tracker, 27.2 million Shiba Inu coins have been burned in just 4 mega transactions. The second largest meme crypto is still holding a market cap of more than $4.5 billion. Shiba Inu coin price is down by 3% over the past 30%. However, SHIB price has been marginally up over the last 24 hours. Shiba Inu is trading at an average price of $0.000008 at the press time. It holds a 24-hour trading volume of $58 million. Just 352 million Shiba Inu worth $3,000 has entered the burn address this December, with little over a week to go. It's a minus 99% drop from May earlier this year, when 31 billion SHIB worth $260,000 was burned. In May this year, investors celebrated the launch of the burn portal on ShibaSwap. It was a mechanism that paid users passive income as a reward for burning Shiba Inu. SHIB fans burned 31 billion SHIB worth over $260,000, and it looked like the burn rate was about to explode, but the burn portal failed to deliver. SHIB's lead development team, headed by Shitoshi Kuzama, took over the burn portal in October. A blog post explained the burn portal needed work. If it launches again in 2023, it could be an indicator that burning Shiba Inu is back on track. In store for 2023 is the Layer 2 blockchain solution for SHIB, the Shibarium. Shitoshi Kuzama confirmed that a percentage of revenue collected from transaction fees would be used to burn Shiba Inu. Shibarium is one of the key developments for Shiba Inu in 2023, and positive news about burning could lead to reductions in supply and significant price pumps. The market capitalization of SHIB broadly reflected its price throughout its history. During the crypto run of 2021, its market cap peaked at $41 billion by October 2021. At no time in 2021 was SHIB's market cap below $16.5 billion. During the Q2 2022 crash, its market cap fell even below $4.5 billion in mid-June. Currently, its market cap is a little above $5.38 billion, making it the 13th largest cryptocurrency in the market. A Changely blog post claimed that after studying SHIB prices and market fluctuations, experts predict that SHIB could go as high as $0.0000548 and as low as $0.0000-4183. Its potential ROI for the said year is predicted to be 322%, with its average price remaining at $0.0000-4335. Telegon concurred, finding that, according to some crypto experts, Shiba Inu coin's price can hit a new ATH in 2025. On the contrary, even though they expect enough tokens to be burnt this year, they are not hopeful about its price rise in 2022. They predict the maximum and minimum prices of SHIB to be $0.0001928 
and $0.00009839 respectively. Its average price was predicted to be around $0.0001152. Recently, Russian-Canadian computer scientist Vitalik Buterin, who is best known as the father of Ethereum, named what he believes are three of the biggest opportunities in crypto at the present time. Earlier this week, during an interview on episode number 149 of the Bankless podcast, Butterine said, If you can make a wallet that a billion people will use, that's a huge opportunity. If you can make a stable coin that can actually survive anything up to, and including a US dollar hyperinflation, that's a huge opportunity as well if you can create something that will feel like a lifeline for everyone going through that situation. If you can get signed in with Ethereum to work, and if you can unseat Facebook, Google, and Twitter as the login overlords of the internet, that itself is a huge opportunity, right? On the 5th of December 2022, Butterin shared his thoughts on Ethereum's diverse ecosystem in a blog post titled, What in the Ethereum Application Ecosystem Excites Me? Butterin wrote, my excitement about Ethereum is now no longer based in the potential for undiscovered unknowns, but rather in a few specific categories of applications that are proving themselves already and are only getting stronger. He then went on to talk about the five application categories that he was most interested in. As a side effect of the merge, transactions get included significantly more quickly, and the chain has become more stable, making it safer to accept transactions after fewer confirmations. Scaling technology such as optimistic and ZK rollups is proceeding quickly. Social recovery multi-sig wallets are becoming more practical with account abstraction. These trends will take years to play out as the technology develops, but progress is already being made. I see the stablecoin design space as basically being split into three different categories. Centralized stablecoins, DAO-governed real-world asset-backed stablecoins, and governance-minimized crypto-backed stablecoins. From the user's perspective, the three types are arranged on a trade-off spectrum between efficiency and resilience. Decentralized finance is, in my view, a category that started off honorable but limited turned into somewhat of an overcapitalized monster that relied on unsustainable forms of yield farming, and is now in the early stages of setting down into a stable medium, improving security and refocusing on a few applications that are particularly valuable. The sign-in with Ethereum SIWE standard allows users to log into traditional websites in much the same way that you can use Google or Facebook accounts to log into websites today. This is actually useful. It allows you to interact with the site without giving Google or Facebook access to your private information or the ability to take over or lock you out of your account. ENS lets users have usernames. I have Vitalik.eth. Proof of humanity and other proof of personhood systems let users prove that they are unique humans, which is useful in many applications, including airdrops and governance. Most generally, a DAO is a smart contract that is meant to represent a structure of ownership or control over some asset or process. But this structure could be anything, from the lowly multi-sig to highly sophisticated multi-chamber governance mechanisms like those proposed for the Optimism Collective. A particular subtlety is that the word decentralized is sometimes used to refer to both. A governance structure is decentralized if its decisions depend on decisions taken from a large group of participants, and an implementation of a governance structure is decentralized if it is built on a decentralized structure, like a blockchain, and is not dependent on any single nation-state legal system. There are many applications that are not entirely on-chain, but that take advantage of both blockchains and other systems to improve their trust models. Voting is an excellent example. High assurances of censorship resistance, audibility, and privacy are all required, and systems like MACI effectively combine blockchains, ZK snarks, and a limited centralized layer for scalability and coercion resistance to achieve all of these guarantees. That's a wrap for today. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up, share, and subscribe to the channel to see our latest content.